Hello and welcome to Temple Baptist Church. It is certainly glad to good to be back with you. If I have my calendar marked right, this is the 29th day of December. New year is the year is almost over, we're almost to a new year. And I want to look in Philippians chapter 3 today. I want to read verse 20 of that and probably go ahead and include verse 21 or some verses before that we may look back on here uh, in a moment but if not we'll uh, do that but uh, it says for our citizenship is in heaven from which we also eagerly await for the savior the lord jesus christ who will transform our lonely bodies that it may be conformed to his glorious body according to the workings by which he is able to subdue all things to himself as I mentioned, this being December the 29th, just a couple of more days left in the year, but uh, can you believe that Christmas is over? You know, that's uh, uh, kind of, uh, sometimes uh, people think about that, that man here, you know, we, we, we went all year anticipating Christmas and the things that are going to happen, the gifts we're going to get to open and all of that, and then just a, a matter of time, it's the presents are opened and then the tree has to be tucked down, the lights have to be put back up, all the stuff that we uh, had uh, put out for decorations, and then, uh, you know, we anticipate a few things, uh, you know, for many of us, we need to maybe shed a few holiday pounds, and uh, but then we await Christmas again with that just, an you know, uh, anticipation that that will come with it, and, you know, uh, just amazing about that, and, you know, let's think about this a minute, you know, if we, as we do all this, we put all this stuff up, no matter what the calendar says, whatever it says, we're always one day closer to Christmas, you know, and look at it uh, in that respect, we may be one day closer to Christmas, a few days closer to Christmas, but, but I think uh, more uh, of importance than our temporary celebration of Christmas is the spiritual real reality behind it. You know, the salvation Jesus brought into the world, the uh, hope of uh, his return. And, I, you know, the scripture uh, repeatedly talks about watching, waiting, and longing for uh, Christ's second coming. You know, what Paul says here, and you read, if you go back and look at verse 15 through uh, 19, and you'll find some things that Paul says there that, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, but uh, what he's really doing here in these passages of Scripture, I think, he is contrasting uh, the uh, uh, the earth, the things of the earth, and with a lifestyle shaped on a hope of Jesus' return. You know, uh, things of this world uh, for our citizenship is in heaven, and that's where it's at. If you are a child of God, we are a maybe a citizen of Poplar Bluff or the state of Missouri. We have an address, but our permanent address is in heaven. So we have that, uh, you know, are set on earthly things, but are, you know, shaped on our hope in Jesus' return. And we eagerly await for the Savior from the Lord Jesus Christ. There in verse 20, it says, uh, you know, we our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly bodies, in verse 21, that it may be conformed to His glorious body according to the workings by which He is able even to pursue all things unto Himself. And so, you know, we just, uh, our, our citizenship, our, our lifestyle, our hope should be shaped by the hope of Jesus' return just one more day closer to heaven every day that we wake up we're one day closer you are our, our our citizenship is in heaven you know and that should change everything in in our life including what we hope for and how we live how we conduct ourselves uh, the hope it, 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 and I, to me is it's fortified by the knowledge that every passing day again we are indeed one day closer to Jesus return you know, Christmas is past, Christmas is coming, but Jesus is coming. We're one day closer to Him. Do you know Him as personal Savior? That is our prayer today, that you know Him, that your citizenship is in heaven, that you're eagerly awaiting the return of Jesus or our opportunity to go and be with Him. That is our prayer. We invite you to all of our services here at Temple. We have a Sunday morning starting at 8 o'clock. Then we have Sunday school classes at 9, which I think is, you can find a class there for you, all ages. 
Uh, then we have our 10 o'clock morning worship service. Then we're back again Sunday night at 6, Wednesday night at 7. Come and be a part of those services. May God bless you is our prayer.